So there's this trend that's been extremely consistent for Shiba Inu for a very, very long period of time. In fact, the past two years have shown this, this removal of Shiba Inu supply from exchanges. And that's a great thing, right? We know that this removes liquidity. We can move to the upside easier. And it really shows that people have this long-term mindset when it comes to Shiba Inu. So we talked about this uh, about a month ago, again, hitting this two-year low in terms of supply. And the thing is, is since that time, this has continued to fall. And I want to show you guys what I mean. Now, this is the chart we were referencing last time. This is Shiba Inu reserves on exchanges. And you guys can see that actually about at that point right here is where this chart stops. So I had to dig a little bit deeper to find out where we're at currently. And what I found was that this Shiba Inu supply on exchanges actually continued to fall. We continued to fall to some of these lower levels. We did get a little spike over the last uh last few days here because of the spike in price, a little bit of inflows for selling. But you guys can see that this, for example, shows us falling from that April 23rd point right here of about 98.26 trillion exchanges down to about 97.37. So not a huge, huge change. And obviously this doesn't show all the exact same, you know, exchanges as, as this chart does, because this was about 150 trillion. So right now we probably sit somewhere around that 140, 149, 148 trillion Shiba available on exchanges. Now, what's interesting about this is this is very close to the all-time high price and the all-time low. No, I don't want to say all-time low, but the low Shiba Inu supply that was available at the all-time high, which was about 100, 147 trillion Shiba Inu. So we're now at about this point where, again, there's so little supply on exchanges that price can start to get really, really wild. You still have these people coming into Shiba Inu that have this long-term mindset and they're pulling supply, pulling supplies, pulling supply, and then price basically has nowhere to go but up, especially as Shiba Inu continues to get adoption, as retail starts to flow in in a lot heavier way, right? Even though there are spikes where you do see supply start to increase, right? We can see that many times along the way here. Even if you look at this chart, you guys can see there's times where supply starts to go up. The trend is consistent and the trend is a decline of supply. Now, what's interesting about this is this same thing is happening with BTC as well. You guys can see that BTC supply continues to fall and fall and fall. Even when we look at this right here, you guys can see that this trend for BTC, once this updates, it shows the same thing. The supply continues to fall and fall and fall. And actually, it's gotten lower. Even though price isn't at the all-time high right now, the supply on exchanges is lower. It's because there's more interest from long-term-minded people. That's the big thing I want to hit home is, yes, there will be fluctuations in price. We may not be at the same price, but when there is this less supply available, that means that people are here for the long haul. People don't just buy on exchanges and remove it just to put it back in a short period of time. That's the big thing. And this trend for Shiba Inu really should show people that there is a lot of strength behind what we're seeing here. Now, the price isn't, you know, going berserk yet. I, again, I've talked about what we need to do to get there. We got to get through that break box. We got to make sure BTC continues to step up. We're kind of we're kind of sitting right now around 66, 67k, not making up much ground in terms of Bitcoin. And because that SHIB is just kind of sitting below its break box, at some point things are going to start to get berserk. And honestly, the supply available on exchanges may be a, a big part of that. So don't, don't ignore it. Don't sleep on it because prices are going to get really wild when people less, least expect it. So I appreciate you guys as always. Would love to hear your thoughts on this, but have a great day. Show your love below. Catch you guys in the next one. Take care.